an icon for his generation, a footballing celebrity whose fame has spread far beyond his sport. For David Beckham, there's adulation on and off the field. Even a straightforward book signing in Manchester's Trafford Centre today veered on the hysterical as the United star was besieged by adoring fans. All this for someone who remains painfully shy. A lot of people don't see it, a lot of people don't know that, but um, apart from when I'm on the pitch, which, which I sort of get a, a certain amount of confidence when I'm actually stepping onto the pitch, um, off it I'm quite shy. You know, I don't talk a lot when I'm around people that I don't really know, so... Um, that's, that's a lot of my shyness, really. It's on the pitch that Beckham does David his talking, Beckham of course, a player at the peak of his powers. Well, David Beckham! But it's been a career well, blighted by controversy, David. no more so well, than that red card against well, Argentina in the World Cup. Beckham admits he became a virtual recluse after the incident and is only now coming to terms with the abuse that followed. Still there now. Um, you know, it was highlighted in Euro 2000, but... Um, to be honest, it's been going on for two, two and a half years before that, and it's only come to light now where people are starting to um, look at it and think, you know, hang on, it's, it's, it's going over the top now. But, you know, I think I've handled myself well over the last um, two years since what um, happened in the World Cup, and uh, it's made me a stronger person. He's filled his book, My World, with the images he most cherishes. Wife Victoria, baby Brooklyn, 